Hyperspace travel is the lifeblood of the Star Wars galaxy, and it allows ships to travel tremendous amounts of distance in a pretty reasonable amount of time. However, the Star Wars galaxy is incredibly dependent on this, and this dependency may one day prove fatal. But why is this? And what would the Star Wars galaxy look like if one day their ability to traverse hyperspace suddenly disappeared? So, when looking at hyperspace in canon at least, its origins aren't exactly fleshed out. It's believed that it's being a pivotal technology for a fair few millennia before the events of the films. Now, some species, such as the Pergil and to a lesser extent Lothal wolves, are able to naturally traverse hyperspace. However, for everyone else, they require a hyperspace drive and a ship. Hyperspace is described as being an alternative dimension that can only be accessed whilst travelling at the speed of light. Now, we can imagine this takes a huge amount of energy to be able to achieve these speeds. However, there is some evidence to suggest that hyperspace is maybe what you would consider more volatile than people may first think during the High Republic era. Now, this is a strange new time frame that's been teased as a new series by Star Wars throughout 2020, and it mentions something called the Great Disaster. Now, again, we know relatively nothing about this event, as they're keeping it pretty hush-hush at the moment, but what we do know is that this Great Disaster is capable of ripping ships out of hyperspace. So what this tells us is that hyperspace is not necessarily safe, nor predictable in nature. So what exactly would happen if another great disaster occurred that stopped the viable use of hyperspace? There's many, many different reasons why this could happen. Probably the most likely one would be a huge fuel shortage. As I said, it would take a huge amount of energy to achieve hyperspace, so if there's not a lot of fuel, hyperspace will no longer be viable or it could just be some form of unknown entity blocking the ability to move through hyperspace. There's a lot of theories out there that say that hyperspace is linked to the Force, so it could even be a very, very powerful Force user being able to distort the ability to traverse it, at least in theory. However, the why in this theory is not important. We want to be focusing on what would happen in a scenario when the ability to use hyperspace is gone. We're going to be saying that any ship that attempts to make the jump to hyperspace is simply burnt up and destroyed. We're going to be basing this in the Empire as well because that's probably the best time to base anything. Needless to say, this is initially going to cause panic, and an authoritarian regime like the Empire will try to minimise this by covering it up. They'd likely lock down all hyperspace lanes and just say that the planet was on lockdown and also cut off communication. We are going to be saying that galactic communication between worlds and systems is still possible. For this reason, the Empire is going to coordinate itself and it's just going to go into full-on police state mode, arresting every single scientist engineer who could possibly stand a chance at helping out to push for a solution. However, for the fun of this theory, we're going to say these efforts are benign and the longer this takes to fix, the worse things are going to get. The big problem that's going to be encountered here is that since galactic travel has been possible for so long, worlds are no longer what you consider to be self-sufficient, as they don't need to be, they can always trade. In the Star Wars universe, like many other sci-fi universes, worlds are generally used for a few bespoke purposes. For example, Kessel is used for spice mining, or Lothal is used for engineering or metal mining, or Coruscant, which houses most of the galaxy's governing and financial infrastructure. The problem here being that worlds independently will not be capable of sustaining life. So most of the galaxy's food supply that's imported to other worlds comes from mid-rim agricultural worlds. However, even these mid-rim agricultural worlds rely on fuel from refineries in, say, the outer rim. But these refineries maybe get food and clean water from somewhere else, which get needed resources from somewhere else, and so on and so on. The fact is that nearly every single world in the Star Wars galaxy desperately relies on trade to sustain themselves. Because hyperspace has been possible for thousands of years, why would it be any different? It's sort of that too-big-to-fail mentality. As well as this, we need to remember the fact that a lot of worlds don't have the correct environments to be able to sustain human or alien life. For example, worlds like Mustafar. If you're stuck there, you're as good as dead. Or worlds such as Kessel, which, due to the colony's work on the world, have become so polluted and damaged that the environment is just so hostile that it just can't sustain life. 
at least not without a lot of aid. Or even worlds such as Coruscant. On worlds like this, the population is so high and free space that isn't horribly polluted is so low that you could never hope to generate enough resources such as food and water to keep this massive population sustained. Ultimately, what is going to happen is a total collapse. Worlds with smaller Imperial presences will likely very, very quickly overthrow the Empire, and without backup on the way as they are not able to send ships, these worlds are just going to descend into chaos. The Empire will naturally begin rationing food, water, and power, and as we know, the Empire will probably not do this very fairly, as the Empire and caring for its citizens isn't really the Empire's jam. This will, needlessly say, lead to riots and fighting. The problem here is that this fighting will then lead to the Empire burning through its resources even quicker than before, energy packs for blasters etc will run low, and the army will probably begin abandoning their posts quite quickly. It doesn't matter how loyal or how high the Imperial rhetoric is, if the Empire isn't capable of feeding and arming its soldiers, then the soldiers aren't going to fight, they'll mutiny and leave and they'll probably take quite a lot of resources with them. Meanwhile, the Imperial Navy, without the ability to refuel, will also die a pretty slow death. They'll either have to dock on worlds that are probably slowly descending into chaos, or they can sit up in space and wait for their life support systems to run out of power where they will die. So, not exactly an ideal situation. Being in space is probably just as dangerous as anywhere else. Now, some worlds may be able to maintain some rudimentary trade. For example, if systems have a nearby agricultural world, then even without hyperspace, they could receive supplies within a few months. However, most worlds are not this fortunate, and without being able to travel at the speed of light, it could take years, decades, or even centuries for them to reach another planet that is capable of helping them survive, which again, isn't really an option. We should also say that of course there are quite a few worlds that are capable of sustaining themselves, such as Alderaan, Naboo, or Kashyyyk. These are worlds that chiefly have pretty limited industrial power or reliance on industry. For this reason, they're not too polluted, so they can still grow crops and have clean water, and also they don't have an over-reliance on fuel, etc., to be able to generate their own power. However, they would still have to make sacrifices. Many of their modern amenities, such as limitless amounts of electricity, would not be an option until they do find a more sustainable power source on their own world, since they can no longer import it from other places. As well as this, although they may be fine at first, neighbours from nearby moons or worlds would be looking at them pretty jealously, and although it may take them a few months or years, crusades from the less fortunate worlds or imperial remnants would almost definitely eventually turn up. Ultimately, this is an event that could ruin the galaxy, effectively by splitting up the individual systems and worlds and forcing them to fend for themselves. This would bring terror to the people, eventually most of the galaxy would be ran by narrow-minded warlords who were desperately fighting over the last of the off-world resources left. And even if the ability to traverse hyperspace reappeared a couple of years later, the damage done would set the galaxy back for a millennia. But what do you guys think? How could hyperspace travel be lost? And what would be the best or the worst worlds to be stuck on during this crisis? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video, I had a lot of fun making it. If you did, please remember to like, share and sub as it is really appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at TheLawGuy and tick the bell for regular updates. But most importantly, thank you so, so much for watching, I do hope that you're all having a great day and I'll see you next time.